There are some things about childhood that are universal. Do you remember when you were a kid and everything in the world was so new and exciting? Crouching down on your haunches to investigate a potato bug, feeling your heart race, when the sounds of an ice cream truck were nearby. And every time you discovered a new spot in your neighborhood, you felt like a worldly explorer. Artist Matt Logston wants to recreate that feeling with The Bus Project, a civic pride project that encourages you to explore your city and dig in to another side of the arts. Children are more inquisitive about their world. We lose that. Artists are typically people who figure out a way to, to hold on to that, and uh, I just want to share that with the rest of the city. Growing up, Matt loved to explore Columbus on his BMX bike, searching for new obstacles to conquer. In his explorations, he started to fall in love with street art and all the possibilities that it held. Today, he still rides through the streets of Columbus, now searching for new locations for his buses. I think uh, what I look for is just uh, any break in the uniformity of like anything that isn't expected is what I'm looking for. And that's basically what I'm trying to do with the project is just break up the monotony of everyday life, just walking down the sidewalk and seeing the same like shade of gray for a block, um, just trying to, you know, make someone's day basically. On top of making someone's day, Matt's project has produced quite a few unique stories. So when I just dis distributed uh, some buses in the Wexner Center bookstore and uh, I think the manager there was given some misinformation and he placed the buses for sale for $10 and I was able to go and purchase one for uh, free work that's all over the city to be uh, placed on sale in an arts institution and then purchased by, by the maker of the work. I think it was a pretty uh, uncanny <laughs> turn of events. On top of offering up art and happy surprises to Columbus, Matt wants to change the way we see public art. Public officials in Columbus have recently been quoted saying that graffiti has come to Columbus like a plague. Whether or not you agree, Matt wants to change the way we see graffiti. Not necessarily as a crime, but as art. The more that I learned about uh, the culture behind graffiti, the more fascinating it became to me. and the at paying attention to it more in Columbus, uh, really, I feel like it enriched my life on a regular basis. Uh, the same way, you know, going to a gallery and checking out a show, I think, is en enriching. I was, I'm hoping that it's bridging the gap for some people. Though the legality and philosophy behind street art can be debated by all, there's nothing wrong with encouraging someone to get off their couch or get out of their car and be more engaged in their environment. I feel very strongly about Columbus. I think Columbus is a great city. I felt like I knew the city very intimately uh, from the amount of time that I spent as a pedestrian. So far, Matt has distributed over 1,250 buses in Columbus. And many buses have been claimed, creating a new community. I'm gonna try to hit 2,000 before the end of the year, so I've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> so be paying attention. We'll be out on the street <laughs> in the next few months. Look for buses if you're in the market for one. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what art may be hiding in your neighborhood? This is Ashley Brooke reporting for Art Scene.